I know you are incredibly passionate about diversity in computer science, women in computer science. What's the progress you're seeing? Let's start there. That's a good question. Uh, it's being taken far more seriously by mm -hmm. far more universities and far more companies. Uh, mm -hmm. The University of Washington uh, uh, has a long way to go, but we graduated uh, twice as high a percentage of women in computer science mm -hmm. last year as the national average. Mm -hmm. Not nearly enough, but we're working hard on it. Uh, Melinda Gates has taken up the challenge a year ago and uh, was the keynote at the Grace Hopper Celebration mm -hmm. of Women in Computing just mm -hmm. last week. When I went to the first Hopper conference in 1994, wow. uh, there were 500 attendees, mm. 15 or so of us who were men. Yeah. Uh, this year it was 18,000 people. So what That's are the challenges that remain? I mean, what's still not going right for women in computer well, the, science? The in, challenge, in schools, in, in universities? Uh, let me tell you what I think the great hope is, first of all. Yeah. I think the great hope is code.org, which is mm. a Seattle operation, right? Hadi Partovi, twice from Microsoft, twice from startups, He's took been on this the on show. as his We've latest challenge. Him. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the first hour of code that Hadi ran several years ago, more women and more underrepresented minorities spent an hour programming than in the entire 50-year history of the field. So this is going to create a groundswell of students coming up from elementary school who demand more computer science. And uh, it's going to change education. So I think interesting young women in this is important. To me, the really important thing is computer science spent 50 years making things smaller and faster and less expensive. And it's been a great run, but that doesn't speak to making society a better place. And the next 50 years of computer science are going to be how we impact healthcare, how we impact education, how we impact energy efficiency, okay? how we impact uh, the developing world. That's what computer science is about these days, and that's going to attract a far more diverse group of people to the field because they care about societal challenges, not about faster, smaller, cheaper. So what's the responsibility of the industry, the Googles, the Microsofts, the Facebooks, Apple, well, I think the responsibility, on impacting the pipeline? The, the response, uh, let's see, I think one thing companies can do is ensure that they are great places for everyone to work, and the mature companies have done that. Google has done it, Microsoft mm. has done it. You just have to pick up the newspaper to see how the newer, smaller companies are doing. There's mm. still a terrible bro culture. Yeah. It's a complicated thing. I think, you know, entrepreneurism uh, uh, breeds people who push the envelope, and, uh, uh, and they may push the envelope in terms of their corporate culture as well. So right. I think making it clear that these are great jobs that everybody's welcome. Uh, the most important thing to me is that uh, we need a diverse workforce in computer science because we're in a creative process. We're, we're crafting, engineering complex systems in a creative process, and if there are points of view that aren't represented or underrepresented, you get a worse outcome. Right. There are gonna be problems you don't consider, solutions okay. you don't consider. So even if you don't care about social equity or anything like that, if you're just a crass capitalist who wants to right. sell more stuff, you want a diverse workforce.